Guten Tag, and what's going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar here. And in this video, we are gonna be revisiting this series of looking at German watches. If you've not seen my last video where I looked at German watches between $100 and $1,000, I will definitely link to that down in the description below. But today we're gonna to be covering probably my favorite range when it comes to German watches, because there's a ton of value here, and I'm referring to the $1,000 mark to the $2,500 mark. So we're gonna be looking at a series of watches here, and I'd love to see comments, as always, down below of any watches that I'm sure that I've probably forgotten. There's a lot of watches to mention, can't name them all. But guys, let's jump into the video. All right guys, so first up we have the Limes Neptune LS. So this is a tool aesthetic watch. The watch comes in with a $1,000 to $1,200 price point. I see it fluctuating between that range. Coming in with a case size of 41.5 millimeters, powered by an automatic Salita SW201 movement and is water resistant up to 100 meters. Moving right along, we're looking at a field watch here from Laco. And Laco is a brand that was founded in 1925, and despite 80% of their manufacturing space being destroyed during World War II, they rebuilt rapidly and are still one of the most respected brands in regards to field watches till this day. So this particular watch, the Heidelberg, is a watch that comes in with a $1,100 price point to $1,300. Case size is a very accommodating 39 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA 2824, and is water resistant up to 50 meters. One thing I will say about Laco is there are a lot of options options here in terms of field watches that you can go for. So um, you can wait, look way beyond just the Heidelberg if you're looking for, say, a larger case for a more traditional look for your field watch. When constructing this list, there were a few brands that definitely got more mentions than others. And one of those brands was Zinn. And one of the watches that I knew would have to get some love here is the Zinn 556. That said, I, I didn't want to overpopulate this list with Zinn, so instead of that watch, and I, don't, I do want to give it a shout out because it's a great watch, I wanted to look at a brand, Damasco. And the Damasco watch that we're going to be looking at, it, I think is a great alternative to the Zinn 556, and that is the Damasco DA37. Price point of $1,100, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA 2836-2, and is water resistant up to 100 meters. Next on our list, we have Stova. We're gonna be looking at the Stova Pro Diver. So for this watch, we're gonna be coming in with a price point of $1,100 to $1,300. Case size is 42 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA 2824-2, and is water resistant up to 1,000 meters. So Stova has been making watches for around 90 years, a really good watchmaker and definitely a brand to take a look at. And when you're looking for divers in this range, I think the Stofa Pro Diver is right there with the best of them. Next, we have the Archimede Pilot 42 GMT. So this brand, Archimede, was founded in 1924. In the watch specifically, I wanted to mention a GMT watch and I was really impressed with just the look of its Flieger style mixing in with a GMT complication. The watch is retailing between $1,300 and $1,500, case size of 42 millimeters powered by an automatic ETA 28932 uh, with that GMT caliber and then water resistant up to 50 meters. Next, we have a watch set. It's pretty special to me. It was one of the first watches and real watch purchases that I made. It was the Zen 104. So the Zen 104 is probably one of the most beloved watches in the watch community, especially here on YouTube. And this is one that I think is totally warranted. This is a fantastic watch. It's very well constructed. I can speak to that personally as handling that watch compared to watches that are even five times the price. This thing is built very well. And when looking at this watch specifically, it's interesting because the price has went up. So now they're retailing between $1,300 and $1,600 depending on the bracelet option. Case size is 41 millimeters. It is powered by a Salita movement and is water resistant up to 200 meters. So for this next brand, it's one that I have seen around frequently, but I've never actually mentioned on the channel before. And it actually blows my mind because if I would have known about these watches, say maybe a year or two ago, there's a good chance that one of them might be in my collection. And the brand I'm talking about is Meister Singer. And we're gonna be looking at their Metris series. So this is a recent release. It was announced at Basel World 2018. And I think these are some of the best everyday watches in general in this price range, but particularly when we're looking at German watches. So the price point here, we're looking at between $1,400 and $1,800. That's where I usually see these watches fluctuating between 38 millimeter case. So very accommodating uh, case size here, powered by an automatic ETA 28. 
24-2 and is water resistant up to 200 meters. Really impressive specs with this watch and another brand that you have to take a look at if you're looking for a German style watch. So this is a relatively new brand. They are a brand of the 21st century. So they've only been making watches for a short period of time, but I imagine them coming to the forefront a little bit more in the coming years and starting to get a little bit more respect. And moving right along with everyday diver type watches, we have the Mula Glassuta Pro Mare Go. So this company has been family owned for 140 years and for five generations. And before they started making wristwatches, they were primarily known for creating nautical instruments for ships. However, when we're looking at this watch, you can see that nautical inspiration that they would have with a lot of their different manufacturing within this piece. So this watch is being retailed between $1,500 and close to $2,000. I see them fluctuating a good amount. Case size is 42 millimeters, powered by an automatic Salita SW200 movement and are water resistant up to 300 meters. Really awesome looking divers. And if you're looking for a German diver watch in this price range, certainly one to keep an eye open for. And now we have a personal favorite of mine, Nomos. And we're gonna be looking at the Nomos Club and the Club Campus. So the Club and the Club Campus both have unique but very similar styles. So these watches are gonna, for the most part, retail between $1,500 and $2,250, depending on the version that you go for. So the primary case sizes here are a 36 millimeter version and a 38 millimeter version. Those two options are powered by an alpha manual movement and they're water resistant up to 100 meters. The one thing that I'll mention as well, if you did wanna go for an automatic option, there's also an option for that. It's a 40 millimeter case, but it does retail a little bit over our price point for today at 2,600, but they can definitely be had for less than that. Now let's take a look at a couple German chronographs in this price range. The first one is from Stova and is their 1838. So this watch is coming in with a price range of $1,600 to $1,900 powered by a Valju 7753, case size of 41 millimeters and are water resistant up to 50 meters. You have multiple different dial options here and I think it's a really clean looking chronograph here. Now for this next watch, it's a personal favorite of mine. It's a watch that I have in my collection, the Young Hans Maxbill Chronoscope. When you're looking at this watch, I think it has the ability to have a lot happening on the dial, but not ever mirror that complexity in just first glance at looking at the watch. So the watch comes in with a price point between $1,400 and $1,800. The watch has a 40 millimeter case powered by a Valju 7750 and are water resistant up to 30 meters. I've done a whole review on these watches. So if you do want to check that out, I'll link to it in the description below. But this watch watch does get the most compliments by far. Whenever I post it or when I'm seen out wearing it, people really do love this watch and I think it's for good reason and goes without being said why. So going through this list here, we're basically going back to back with two of my favorite watches that I own. The next one is the Nomos Orion. And the Nomos Orion is was really a dress watch that means a lot to me. I think it's a keeper in my collection, particularly this watch now, we're looking at it. Most of them are coming in between $1,800 and $2,500 in most cases. That said, I would usually recommend, I'd say for 80% of people out there, go for the 35 millimeter version. The one thing about Nomos that you have to consider is their lugs are rather long. And despite being a 35 millimeter watch, wears more like a 38 to 40 millimeter watch. I own one. The lug, the lug to lug height is definitely a little bit taller than what I would probably want, but it does fit me really well. So I'm so happy I went for the 35 millimeter version when I did. Powered by an alpha manual in-house movement, fantastically decorated movement. If you're debating between the stainless steel back or the actual sapphire crystal expedition case, go for the clear case back where you can actually see this movement. It's fantastic to look at. Water resistant of 30 meters, but I think this really epitomizes minimal styling, especially in the 21st century. So definitely check out this watch. And as promised, we're going to be looking at Zinn again, and we're actually going to be looking at two more of their watches. The first one is the Zinn U1. So this is a very tactical looking diver watch. So coming in with a price point of $2,000 to $2,200, case size of 44 millimeters, powered by an automatic SW201, and a water resistant up to 1,000 meters. And now one of my favorite Zinn watches, the Zinn 103 SA. This watch, comes in with a price point of $2,300, case size of 41 millimeters. It's powered by an automatic decorated Valju 7750 and are water resistant up to 200 meters. And now finally closing out our list, we have Mont Blanc, their 1858 automatic. So this 1858, there are a lot of different options in this series. I'm looking at their simple automatic line with their bronze bezels, really clean looking watches with cathedral hands, really caught my eye when I did see them for the first time. 
These are coming in with a price point of $2,400 to $2,600, so right on the top end of our price range here. Case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic MB2415 movement, and are water resistant up to 100 meters. All right, guys, so that is my list for this range. There were so many watches here to mention. I didn't really know where to make the cutoff, so please do leave comments down below. I want to see what other watches you guys would consider here uh, worthy of mentioning. And guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Also, be sure to go check out the watch form down below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. We make the watch announcements every single month there. Uh, we give away a watch every single month here. So we're giving away a Seiko SNK803 this month. And then finally, if you want to support this new generation of watch lovers that we're trying to just foster up on this channel, create a new wave of watch lovers, go to our Patreon. Any support there would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.